So the air cat has arrived. Unfortunately, delivery was a little bit problematic because um, they have to phone ahead and tell you they're coming. Well, they didn't, or they did, and I didn't spot the call. So I went and collected, but it was lifted in on this rather lovely pallet. And now indoors, as ever, is chuffed with her pallet because we can use that to grow some strawberries on. Oh, it's actually a very good pallet. The blue ones always are. Let's get it out of the car. All right, this is a box unboxing and setup video of the a Aquamarina Air Cat 335. It's very similar to the one from Boat World and others, but half the price. I paid £530 for this delivered. So let's see what we get. Shikri. Air indoors is ever keen to undo another boat. Right, air indoors is going to see what's in the box. So it'll all be very similar. So we've got the oars, which are very standard for any uh, sea or boat like this you buy. Uh, let's have a look in there. The tool, some instructions. Uh, that's a pressure relief valve tool or pressure valve tool. A pump, foot pump. We will be using electric, but that will be a high pressure pump for the floor. But that would be some work there. Then that's the centre part. And I think I'll have to help her out with the main boat. So you get the boat in a bag, and as her indoors point out, the bag is not very strong or thick. But that whole thing, pick it up Catherine, is very light, which is what I wanted, look. That is just, that is very light, okay? It's not got the centre bit in. And then we have what looks like just the one seat. Mm. To be honest, these are boats that you don't really use the seat on. Right, let's start unpacking. We'll get it set up. There it is unrolled. There's the seat. It's quite a wide seat. It must have seen the size of their indoors arse, I reckon, when they no, made that. My arse isn't going on that. Their arse isn't going on that, apparently. Right, carry on with the unpacking. Uh, it's got a valve, I can't see a bung. Has it got a bung? Yeah, bung's on the other side. Transom thickness. Well, okay. Nothing like a Hon wave. Halky Roberts valves. One, two, three, four chambers looking at the moment. Right, other bits out of the packet. We're unpacking now, standard set of oars. There's the uh, floor. Not going to read instructions, but I reckon just get a bit of air into that first before we put the floor in, I reckon. Seems to make sense. We use the trusty old Itty Wits. There, the faithful old twi twin Itty Wits are on the go, as uh, indoors said. Uh, indoors, where were the last time they were used? Killing at Narragown Campsite. Lawn tractors had to go on charge because I unfortunately didn't connect the back, disconnect the back to. That's going up fairly quick with these old icky wits. They're the two back chambers on putting some air in first. So we're now putting a little bit of puff into the front chambers. As I say, don't really know if this is the way to do it, but it's the way I'm doing it. Dog, come to watch. In the distance, a little stink. Who so might be going on at one point? Hello, puppy, come here. It's deaf, it's can't hear. So, that's the shape of the floor. Um, the valves on the main boat have actually got the pressure on them, so that's useful and handy. How's this one got the pressure stated on it? The answer is 15 psi, which is a lot. I'm not going to put quite that much in, but at least it says on it, which is good. They often don't. I don't think the boat wall one did. Right, let's get that in. So that was quite easy getting the floor in, which I think you're leaving to roll it up. So far, certainly that's working the boat wall one, I've got to say. Just putting a bit of air on the floor. 
Let me see if we can push it into position. If you do buy one of these, get yourself an electric pump, because that would be exhausting to go up with that. I think it would actually collapse, I certainly would. Right, so the floor's up only about 7 psi, but it positions itself really well. If you're using these pumps, for goodness sake, when you set the floor, and you switch the pump over to do the tubes, remember a change of power, the pressure setting, as you'll blow the tubes. I only want about 3.6, but I can put just 3 in it for the finish test. So far, so good. And Doors has got to do a zoom call in a minute. So far, this has taken us less than 20 minutes, and it's a new inflation for us, that's straight out of the box. So, with that floor rolled up in it, this will be a quick to blow up, I think. Let's just hope it holds and is good. I had a schoolboy error and I'm having those spare ends on the pump to be under the floor so I had a little bit of air out and uh, get them out but didn't think I can sell it which is a good little test actually that you maybe you can set this up in any direction alright the floor is being pumped up I'm pumping up to 12 can't bring myself to go 15 if I'm honest don't know why so it's 15 but I never can irritation I think it'll be okay though because I want to keep this lightweight I'm not gonna put wheels on and God knows what else there's no handles on the inside that would be really useful of course I could glue some on but that's more Fenlander's skill and not my skill I cannot glue onto this material very well at all let's put the oars on and see what that's like right there she has is with the oars on I'm just letting the pressure settle a bit because when you're doing these and if you're pumping them up with an electric pump just pump them up to a pressure you want leave it a little while just hang about do whatever jobs you've got to do on the boat and you will see this was set to 12.8 I think you'll see that the pressure will settle and go down a little bit so it's now showing 11.9 so you switch it on again and give it a bit more I do that a couple of times with all of the changes. So, if this holds air and no leaks, not a bad boat for £535 delivered. Yeah, wearing only one seat, if you haven't put in properly yet, so I need Erwin doors to push on the other side. I should have put that in if I pumped the tubes up, probably. But um, a bit of an interesting rowing position. I think probably the seat might go there, and I would sit in front of the seat on the floor. This is generally a floor sitting boat. Yeah, interesting little machine. Really for fun days in the summer, sort of getting wet job this is, I think. I'm gonna put a Tahatsu 9.8 on it. Don't know what it's plated for, I haven't actually looked. Let's have a look at the plate. There's the plate. Uh, yeah, 10 horsepower, so that should be okay. Five people, I think not. I suppose you could use it as a tender, but yeah, 535 quid delivered. Pretty damn good. I already like it better than the Boat World one, which I think was a nearly 1200 quid, because um, 
there's a lot less parts, a lot less transom stuff to go together. Whether or not if this takes water over the bow, the water will come out that bung very quickly, I don't know. That is a bit of a concern, but we'll see. Right, for people who like this sort of thing, the height of the transom is actually 15 inches, and it's 20 inches uh, to get into the water. So that may be interesting for, um, no, it should be right, I think, for a short shaft. It should, must be a short shaft out for this. Uh, right, other interesting things you might find. The height of the deck. If this was sort of flat on the plane, this is following the slope of the grass, so not too bad. So that height is about 16 inches to the bottom. Um, the width of the boat well they're all in the specs if you look it up yeah so there she is we're just going to put the seat in the other position see how easy it is to put it in with two people now because i should have put it on earlier i committed a bit of a schoolboy error and tried to put the seat in after it is inflated and that ain't gonna happen i can tell you but uh, if you put it in you know when it's part inflated you can get it in relatively easy i think that's the position that you'd have the seat and i would probably sit on the floor just there, in front of the seat, operating the outboard, so on. I don't think this is a seat sitter if you're going fast. Anyway, there she is. I had a little bit of a video of deflating it later and putting it in the bag, but I want to just make sure she holds air. Okay. Thanks for watching so far. Well, time to take the air cap down. It's been up for seven hours. I can't say it's lost any pressure at all. That, cha that chamber's the same. Yeah, that's the same. I had heard reports of the valves leaking on these, but don't see a problem for that one. Yep, so there she is. I'm now going to take her down. See if we can roll it up and put it in the bag with the floor in. The transom for those that are interested is quite thin. I would say that's about an inch maximum but you know is what it is and there's two little holes each side there which are curious i might put some webs through there to carry it by because the lack of the handles here right deflating time here we go always mind your eyes if you if you've got grit on and you take these frauds down Uh, the other four are indoors if you do that one. You did twist them a bit. So there she goes, going down. Oh, we should have took the oars off, but we can do that now. <laughs> Always put those on back on before you blow the boat, roll it up. Because uh, it's not an easy do what I had. Because of course they're a little bit sharp and could cause, I think they'd punch it, but cause um, abrasion. Well, bring it back once we've let the air out and fold it up. As I say, we're going to do it and try it in one. Let's see how it goes with the floor. Feet with the pigeon shit, which her window is now gone get a cloth to wipe off. So this is how it will roll up. I'm going to get a rope in a minute to tie it with the floor still in. I'm pretty certain that will go in the bag. Right, it's going to get a bit of work. So it's true to say we didn't make a very good fist of that. The bag that came with is very thin with the floor in. We couldn't easily get it in, so for now we've got a spare home wave bag. Well two spare home wave bags. So we're gonna put it in that and the accessories just in the bag that came in. That'll do for now. It's quite light. So if we pick this up, Catherine. See that is really walk forward. Really is a lightweight boat to carry. Alright, thanks for watching. 
next video hopefully will be, be of it on the water.